there are several factors affecting the Navy's drive towards platform electrification. One main reason is the need for more electric power for payload sensors and weapons. For example, the Navy is pursuing directed energy weapons, mainly lasers, that require significant power that can only be provided by an all-electric fleet. Cruise ships went to integrated electric propulsion decades ago, driven by the cost of equipment and fuel. A cruise ship's hotel load consumption can be as much as one-third of the propulsion power. In a conventional system, the propulsion power is separate from the electrical power. In an integrated system, the propulsion and electric power share the same combined system. This reduces the number of engines and improves the fuel consumption. With increased power needs for electric payloads, sensors, and weapons, the Navy is in the same place that cruise ships were decades ago. If you're wondering what this might look like aboard a Navy carrier or destroyer, Leonardo DRS builds purpose-built solutions custom designed to fit and adhere to the specific needs of the forward deployed ship. For over 100 years, we've designed and manufactured electrical equipment aboard every U.S. Navy combatant. Today, we continue to design and manufacture permanent magnet motors, rugged military specification power converters, and motor drives to provide power and control of the permanent magnet motors. We also provide mill specification switchgear and the controls to make all of this and other equipment work harmoniously. Simply put, we support the entire electric propulsion life cycle aboard our nation's fleet. The Navy and shipbuilders understand that it's difficult to retrofit existing full electric drive into ships because it affects too much equipment in an existing space. However, hybrid electric drive can be retrofit. The challenge there is simply space. Permanent magnet machines make this much more practical because they are smaller and can be fit into the shaft or the gears. The Navy developed and tested prototypes for a hybrid electric drive system for backfit into the DDG-51 class of destroyers. There are also forward fit opportunities for hybrid electric drive into existing ship platforms that are still in production but inserted during the ship's construction versus after the ship is built. This is much easier than a backfit application, however there are space limitations from a given engine room design. As the Navy looks to build more ships, there are no technology barriers to adopting electric drive. Electric drive is ready, proven as evidence among commercial marine organizations. Despite electric drive becoming common in the private sector, the Navy needs rugged, power-dense solutions, not commercial equipment. The Navy should not abandon the Navy's industrial base for commercial suppliers. Commercial suppliers are inexpensive, but they can be fickle and do not understand the Navy application needs and requirements, and they can be quick to lose interest. The Navy industrial base must develop the means and approaches to adapt commercial technology to the Navy's requirements. At Leonardo DRS, we are committed to collaboration with our Navy's partners to maximize the leverage of ever-improving commercial technology to Navy applications. Navy suppliers like Leonardo DRS are committed and loyal to the Navy. We understand what it takes to deliver on the mission, and what we deliver is reliable, proven, and cost-efficient solutions that are available today. Visit us online at leonardodrs.com.